Hi everyone and welcome to Victoria's Crafty Creations. Uh, for anybody that is new to my channel that's never been before, my name is Victoria and I'm part of the Tonic Studios design team here in the UK. Um, obviously we have a very large uh, event uh, this week and um, I think the second day is going to be this fabulous die set. Now, I've no idea if it's going to come with a magnetic sheet or not, but I have mine on here just so I can work from it. But as you can see, it is a full A4 sheet and it's a fantastic, sweet treat uh, little van. And um, it can be a coffee van, it can be a bakery van, it can be an ice cream van. Or if you want to personalise it with other dies, it can be any type of van you want it to be. It could even be a red van for a Royal Mail van, bringing somebody a gift. Um, it could be a ups delivery guy. It could be anything you want it to be. So I'm going to talk through the dies with you and then we're going to put a van together. OK, so you're going to see full A4 set here. And this die here cuts the van out you'll be pleased to know in one piece so you have your two sides your lid and your base all together with all the glue tabs so it only needs cutting out once so isn't that that's made things so simple this is an extra piece to line the top of your van lorry truck whatever you want to call it i'm going to call it a van um, then you have some decorative elements here. You also, of course with Tonic, you have that layering verso edge where you can use your pattern papers if you want to. You have a little uh, coffee cup there for um, your Costa or other good brands out there. And then you have a little, um, I don't know what you call these, are they a pretzel or something like that? Anyway, you've got that one there and you've got a cupcake. You have an ice cream, a twister ice cream lolly. You have your 99 ice cream cone, as we call it here in the UK. And then you have the wheels. And obviously you'll need to cut those out a few times to make them more chipboardy. It'll just give the box a little bit more strength. You also have the centre of the wheels there. So you could do those in your mirror and make them blingy. Um... This is the front grille of the van, so you've got the headlights there, the registration plate and the grille at the front. This die here is for the two back doors of the truck and then you've got the decorative elements there as well within the set. You also have this die here and it has two slits each side and what you want to do is you want to cut what would be the cover lining on the top of your van and you will place this die anywhere you like really but I've gone roughly around there with mine and it puts two slits in this cardstock and then when you cut your signage so it could be an ice cream tuck it could be a sweet treat or it could be coffee because you've got a coffee sentiment there you would then place this inside let me find the piece that I've already cut, Victoria says. So there's a piece I've already cut and you can, if you can see there, there's two little slits. And obviously this signage will slot through those slits and then we can decorate it. So I'll show you that shortly. And you can see that there's a little score tab there and that's where those slits will just slot into that piece of cardstock. Okay. You also have a uh, part of your wheel. Um, I don't know what you call that. Is it a mud guard or a... I don't know what you call that part. And I'm a driver, but to hand I can't remember what you would call that. But we have one of those. <laughs> we also have this, which is like a shutter, okay, for the van. And you'll need two of those. Um, this is the front windscreen and bonnet of the van. That's uh, that die there, it cuts out a frame and it also at the same time cuts out the centre part like this. 
So I've put it through once for the mirror, for the frame, and then I've cut it again in the blue and I'm having that like as the windscreen cover. Just obviously you could do it in white and then put a little bit of blue pen on for that reflectness of the glass. So there's that. And then this die makes a little shelf for where you'd go to the hatch for your ice creams. And I'll show you that in a moment. And then we have a canopy and we have a decorative uh, die here for the canopy. So I'll show you that as well. So I've just got to add one little piece to the canopy there, as you can see. I'm going to go with a rose gold, but we'll just add that decorative panel there. OK, you have glue tabs as well, and I'll show you all that. Um, and I think that is. Oh, and then we have like the, the bumper that goes across the bottom of the van. Now, when I use the decorative panel, when I did the packaging, I actually tucked this behind the panel um because of where the door's placed you want to see the whole bottom of the door for this one i'm actually going to put it on the front because i'm not actually going to use the decorative die on this one i'm going to use some pattern papers i've got to hand so there's just two ways of adding that it's up to you but where you will see the score marks here is an indication of where to put your wheels when you're putting it together so that's the whole set in its entirety I just forgot this little one here which is your little um, closure for the back doors when we put that together. And then you've got little windows that you can cut out of uh, blue card or any type of card that you want. And I'm just checking to see if I have any ribbon. So we've got our Craft Perfect uh, bright white and it's the three millimeter shoestring ribbon and that's perfect for the back of this little truck and you'll be able to find that on the website i think recently it's been on offer so it could well still be on offer really good satin ribbon so i'm going to put this die set to one side and then we're going to get on and we're going to build one together so like i said before that is what it cuts out, one whole piece. And as you'll see, you've got glue tabs here, here and here. So you need to just burnish all your score lines with um, your creasing tool, uh, just to give it that lovely crisp finish. So I'll do that now. I've actually used for this one, I think this is 300 GSM, but normally I would use 240. It's just that I had this to hand. We'll work with both, but I do like to work with 240. Because by the time you've added your layers, it's more than thick enough. So, we have all these other pieces as well. So I'm just going to score these. Now this piece here is the bonnet, the grill and the windscreen. Okay. And then we have the two doors. So I'm going to put it all together uh, as a base and then we're going to decorate it. So, as you'll see, you'll see that that is the base there with the glue tab. I'm actually going to slot in the windscreen part before I actually put the, the bottom tab to the side tab there. So as you'll see, you have a glue tab here already. So, yeah, that's right. Just make sure I have got the windscreen in the right one. I'm sure that is the bottom grill and that's the windscreen. Let's double check. Yeah, that's right. So, I'm going to add, it's a while since I made this one for packaging, so it's do excuse me. I'm refreshing my memory as I'm going here. Right, so we're going to add. I'm going to clear my glue. It's been just sat there for a little while. There we go, cleared the glue. So I'm going to add the deluxe adhesive to that glue tab. There we go. And I'm going to glue this to that tab and then when it's in the right place 
just going to hold it till it's grabbed. I'm going to lay it flat like I would if I was making it just for myself. There we go. And just let that idea turn it over and give it a little burnish. You're going to take more time than myself, as I always say. And now you see how you've got these tabs here now. And they're just going to line up all the way along. So I'm just going to add adhesive to one side at a time. Okay. I'm going to move that out of my way. And then I'm just going to fold that to the shape and then just hold it in place until I know that glue has gone tacky. I'll tell you what, we shall do one piece at a time. That would be a lot better, wouldn't it? There we go. So much fun and, and so easy to... Um, to cut all the pieces out and stick together um, especially with this van being just one whole piece so again I'm just going to hold that till I know it's grabbed I'm actually going to put it down on my desk because then I've got something to push against So as you're following the edge of your van around there, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. It's a lot easier putting this in first than putting the side up and then trying to slot the front in. So uh, there we go. So I'm just going to add adhesive to the rest of these tabs. So I'll just manipulate that card to where it needs to be. I've been waiting for Tonic to do something like this for some time. A little van, a little bakery van or be a little cake van for a wedding or birthday. Um, all sorts of occasions, isn't there, that you can use a van. Do it in your manly cover, um, you know, your, your card stocks and decoration. If your other half was a, a delivery man, it would come in handy for some birthdays with treats inside. Could be a florist van, could be anything you want it to be. So now we've got the two sides in and you can see it's formed the shape of your truck. So now we can put adhesive along this tab here. with all the flowers that I know you'll have in your stash. Oh, this would look so pretty as a little floristry van. That'd be perfect for birthdays, get wells, anniversaries, little wedding van. Thinking of you. Valentine's. some more glue I think there we go I'm just going to get my hands inside and press against that I'm hugging it I have a habit of hugging it I do apologise so used to crafting on my own and you can't help but hug it can you <laughs> and then I'm going to put my uh, adhesive along this long edge there we go and then just press against that tab getting rid of all the excess 
Now, like I said, this one is going to be uh, decorated with um, some papers. I'm not actually using the um, decorative panels on this one. I've done that for um, the packaging, so uh, I thought I'd have a little play with some pattern papers today. So I'm just going to run my bone folder just inside along that glue tab just so I've got something to press against and that'll get some addition when the glue starts to go tacky so that's a lot better there we go I'm just going to make sure that that is stuck down there so I am going to hug it towards myself again guys apologies there we go right so then you can see you've got your truck shape so we're now going to add the back doors. So as you can see, you have a glue tab on this side. You have a little cut out here and the same on this side. So I'm going to add adhesive on that glue tab. And I'm going to place that on the edge. Just like so. And then I'm going to. Press firmly in place. Let's line you up properly to begin with. There we go. And then I'm going to place that down and get my bone folder on that. And then I'm going to repeat the other side. So again wet adhesive line it up on the edge and then hold it in place just like so try not to get glue everywhere i've got glue on my fingers so excuse me a moment getting a bit sticky And there you have the back doors and we will have some little tabs for the closures but I'll add those once I've added the decorative panel to the box okay so that is the basic construction of the van so now we're just going to decorate so I have a panel here of pattern paper uh, with ice creams on ice lollies so that is going to go onto this side so I'm going to add that now now at this point you can add the bumper there if you want to and then add the paper if you're doing the decorative panels but for this one I am adding my pattern card down first but on the packaging ones I actually added that first because I used the decorative panels and it's only because when you add your panel to this side the door comes quite low so if that's placed on afterwards it could overlap the door so I, I put that on first and then added the door afterwards so for this one I'm adding it after so that said Here's one I've added the wheels to. I'm going to add this one to show you, but just so you're not waiting for me to stick these wheels down. Um, Blue Peter fashion. So basically, I'm cutting three wheels for each one. So you need six for each side. So 12 in total. You can add more if you want to add more, or you can take them away. It's up to you. But that's what's kind of worked for me. Um, so I'm going to add this one now. So I just wanted these because I'm sticking to satin card. As you'll be aware, when you're using satin card, it takes a little while for things to stick to. Uh, a little bit tricky as well with Miri card. Um, so I went ahead and did those so you weren't waiting for those to dry. 
So again, we've got the centre one here that we've cut with the rose gold mirror and I'm placing that in the centre. You, I could have backed that with another colour if I wanted to, but I was quite happy with the rose as it is on the white. So I'm going to place those to one side to let those dry. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the other panel. Now... This panel is going on here, okay? But before I add this panel, I want to add the canopy. So you'll see the canopy looks like this. And I've scored all the pieces and I've added these decorative pieces here. So I have another piece to add. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to pick up that glue on my hand. And then I'm going to place that on the end there so it matches with all the others and as you'll see you have a glue tab here you want to put adhesive on the inside of that tab and then going to tuck it underneath that pattern paper if that was your panel then tuck it underneath your panel your decorative panel it's just so it hides the workings and leaves you a really neat finish so again I'm going to add glue and I'm going to decide that I want my awning kind of around there. Now I'm going freestyle here but if you were a bit worried about where you were going to place things put that decorative die over your decorative paper and then it'll give you an idea where to place your door. So I've cut a door out here from the satin and that beautiful rose gold satin. So I'm going to add adhesive to this. Now you could add 3D foam pads if you wanted to, but I'm actually adding mine flat. And because I've placed that die there, I know exactly where the door's got to go. So again, I'm going to place that down there. Hey presto, I know where that goes. I've also cut the little um, glass, reflective glass in the blue. So I'm going to place that within that window placement. And then I cut the handle with the rose gold mirror. And I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive to there and that just slots in so you know that that's the handle. So whilst I've still got this die over the pattern paper, now like I said you don't have to do this if you're doing the decorative panel because you'll know where everything goes. But because I'm using pattern paper it's kind of, well whereabouts does the window go? So I am going to add my window like so. So I need to add my other shutter. So I'm going to put the other shutter here. So I need to add adhesive to the inside of that glue tab and I need to wrap it around what would be the little hatch. Okay. I'm getting sticky fingers again. And then we have a shelf, okay? So the shelf has a little glue tab here. See that? And that is going to go underneath. So you have a little shelf like a counter. So you're going to need to put adhesive on this little glue tab here. And then you're going to place this underneath And stick that down and I'm doing all this before I place it here on the van okay there we go so I have made with the dies that are in the set some ice cream cones so we've got one here in the chocolate 
I've done a little uh, twister lolly in pink and lime green and I've just paper pieced and I've cut it again and I've added this brown card so you can see there that's like a lolly stick so we've got that and then I've got another one here which is from the craft card and then I've gone with a darker shade just to give it a little bit more dimension and I'm going to add this to the cone like so and then I've got a strawberry one. Oh, I love strawberry ice cream I love ice cream in general really but there we go so there I have one of each and the ice lolly for decoration okay so I'm going to place this here where I know it should be so I'm going to eyeball that now so I want it to be about there so I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the window not the shelf just the window and of course I've lined up my little uh, roof awn in there so I'm just going to stick that down and that's roughly where the window will have been okay we'll put that back on my die set so we don't lose it and then you can lift that little shelf up right, like so and then if you want to you can add the little ice creams on there for decoration or there i think i'll put one each side in a moment so now that is ready to add to the van and then we're going to add this on top like so all right so we'll put some adhesive on the back here i think you're going to have so much fun coming up with different um decorative fans with this it's going to just going to be i just can't wait till i see them all on the group it's going to look amazing you've embraced the um the floral bouquet i think you're going to embrace these sets as well right so we've got that on our van now let's stick that down a little bit i'm just going to put my hands on the inside there we go there we go so we've got our ice lollies on this side our ice lollies on this side we need to decorate the top so as i said before you've got a lining for the top of your van and we've put those little slits in each side there haven't we so what i've done is i've cut this twice and then the other side i've just snipped them off short of the score line because you only need one tab to put through the holes but i have cut ice cream out in that beautiful rose gold mirror and we're going to add this to both sides okay now you could add foam pads if you wish but i am just going in flat here i'm using my deluxe adhesive all the way right as i smudge it there there we go I don't like smudges on my mirror there we go so we flip him over and we do the same on the other side because you want to be able to see it's the ice cream man from both ways there we go i've been watching um some different things on TikTok, and there's a gentleman on there that sells ice creams in an ice cream van all modern van now and he does like the old school cake you know remember that and he puts the ice cream on and the sprinkles on and 
they all have they don't deal with cash anymore they have they're all on the um, pay on your card and stuff and blimey they cost such a lot i think it's six pounds for this tray and it did look mighty nice but i thought blimey gone are the days when you had your 99p for your, your 99 for your 99p oh dear dear am i showing my age probably probably and you, as a child, I never liked 99s. I used to like the screwball with the chewing gum at the bottom. That was my favourite. <laughs> so, now we've got the, the glue tabs in place. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive underneath there. And then fold those down. Doesn't matter uh, which way you put the, the glue tabs um just bend your your topper back to where it needs to be so now i'm going to add adhesive under there and then i'm going to stick that down on top of my roof and you can already see it's coming alive Come into life. There we go. So, what we're going to do next, we're going to do the windscreen next. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive on that side there. It's not stuck. There we go. Can't have a loose panel, can we? There we go. Right, so as I said before, you get an outer um, frame and then I've cut it again with the blue just to give it a little bit of reflectiveness like glass, I suppose. So again, I'm going to place this down on my windscreen and I will show you guys in a moment. Just hold that in place till it's gone tacky and Vicky moves it there we go And then we're going to add the middle windscreen. There we go. And then in the set we have uh, the little headlights, which I've just done in the mirror. Two little round headlights. We have a grill and we have like a little um, registration plate type of grill underneath. So I'm going to put this grill. Just there I'm just going to hold it in place and then I've got the little two round headlights which I'm going to put I'm going to put there there I'm going to put them there so it looks like a little face and then that one to match and then we're going to put this plate a little bit 
further down. Making a little bit more glue. I didn't think I had enough glue there. Right. Do that there. marks on my merry card. Hold that down till it's, you can feel it's gone tacky. And there you've got a little cheeky face looking at you. I'm just going to hold that a little, a little while. And I'll need a little bit more glue under there. I'm not happy with that. a little bit more underneath a little bit tight with my glue there Victoria she's not like me there we go that's better so now you've got that cheeky face looking at you <laughs> right so what we do next we're going to add a decorative ice cream to one side of the sentiment so where you've got the ice cream we're just going to place that there. So I just want a little bit of adhesive there and a little bit there because I'm not using foam pads. I'm just going uh, wet adhesive all the way with this one. So I'm just going to hold it till it's grabbed. And then I think we'll have a twister ice lolly on the other side I think yes we will so we'll put that on the back there and a little bit there and then just hold that in place You always have to hold it a little bit longer when you're gluing near Miri card. Because it's obviously got, it's not absorbent, it's it's a shiny surface. You can glue onto Miri, but you do have to hold it. So, there we have the Twister Ice Lolly on the other side. And a little awning there. So now I'm going to add our little bumpers there so I'm just going to add adhesive to the bottom not quite to the end because it overhangs just a little so put him right down to the bottom like so and just hold that in place until you know. I think I must say that a lot in my videos, don't I? Until it's grabbed. But I do like using wet adhesive. It's, um, it just gives you that little bit of wiggle time. And you know it's glued and, it, and it's glued forever. Um, red liner tape is extremely good, do not get me wrong. But I think if you use red liner, you still need a little bit of wet glue with it. So, that's that side. So now we're going to add this side. So again, not quite to the end. Just short of the end. There we go. And then down we go. And just hold that till you know. So 
is a bugbear for me. I don't like to see glue or marks on my mirror card. It's not for me. Right. So, as you'll see, this side looks quite bare. So, like I said before, if you need to know where a placement is, stick the decorative die where it would have been. And you'll see there, that's where the window would have been. So I have a little blue, blue, a little blue piece of card, which is going to act as a window. And I'm just going to place that in there. And then I know where the placement is for that window. Okay. And that's that side done because the majority of the decoration is this side. So then we have these little, I don't know what you call them, wheel trims, wheel guards. No, not wheel trims, are they? Mud guards? Don't know. But anyway, we have those. So I'm just going to place those each side like so and I am going to use wet adhesive again so we only need adhesive to the top part there you could add foam pads to this if you wanted to add some depth and some dimension but for this one I'm quite happy for it all to be glued flat and you will have to hold this for a second or two because again you're going on satin card here and it does take some time to adhere. Okay. So we'll just add some to the center of there. And again, down it goes. we glued hope so we move no 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 we're lifting so we'll we'll just hold for a second or two we don't want it peeling away and then we'll turn it over and we'll repeat it on this side Again, we just want the glue in the middle there and then place that down there and I'll do the other one as well there we go and then I'm just going to hold those two just for a few seconds And then all we have to do is add a few little ice creams and um, put the panels on the back door. And it's that simple, guys. You will have full instructions in your set, as always, with 3D Makes. And there will be plenty of inspiration, um, not only on the tonic group, but if you follow any of the DT individually. Um, they will have their makes probably on their own timeline and they'll have YouTube channels so check out their content and I keep saying this but um, it's always kind of important to follow um, the person that you you like to follow on YouTube um, many uh, well statistics say um, that the majority of people that watch content on YouTube actually aren't subscribers um, and to be fair uh, if I find somebody that I like on YouTube I will subscribe because I want to be alerted when they've got new content on obviously if you don't follow that person um, when they put new material on new tutorials you won't know unless they post a link on Facebook and to be honest I don't always do that because sometimes I just like to do content for 
um, YouTubers as well. So um, I would say it's it's worth just clicking the follow button. It doesn't cost anything, and um, you'll just if you if you click the little bell as well, it just lets you know that when there's new content there to watch, it, it's there for you to watch, uh, and then you won't miss anything. So there we have those wheel trims there. So we're cooking on gas there. So just going to put that to one side. And then we have, um, oh, got a wheel coming off. Uh, that's the one that we glued not long ago. So I'm going to hold on to it. Got to let the glue dry, Vicky. It does take a while to glue onto satin. I knew that when I was cutting it out, but I quite like the idea of having satin card on it. Um, so, yeah, just let all that really dry before you're going to handle it too much. So we've got the back panels. I've cut from the same paper as the top. And I'm just going to add... The glue um, in actual fact no I'm not I'm going to add the decorative the locks first so the locks go there where you've got a little notch missing so I'm going to add adhesive to um the panel that way that way victoria so you forget don't you i made these a while ago now for packaging and uh, it's trying to refresh my memory now so we're going to glue those each side of that little cut out there there we go And then we're going to add the decorative panel to make sure we've got that the right way round. There we go. I mean, you can add these bits to the doors first if you prefer, because obviously once you start adding wheels, it's a little bit more awkward to handle if you're pressing on it. Um, so, yeah, you can do that first if you prefer. I just get that excited. I don't think about order. I just go in there. All guns blazing. Okay. Not really anything is planned when I craft. I just sit down and what comes is what comes. Um, I never really sit there and think and think what I'm going to do. I just, I just, just do it just do it so there's now the back doors and you can see you've got your two locks there so we're going to thread ribbon through that when they're dry and now we have some ice creams and some uh, twisty twirly twisty lolly things so i think i am going to put a chocolate ice cream cone where am I going to put this one? I haven't decided. Am I going to put one on the outside of the door? Yes, I am. So I'm going to put one at an angle there. Sticky fingers. Just going to hold that again until I know it's grabbed. And then the other side, I'm going to put a twisty lolly, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to go that side for that one. And again, just hold it till it's grabbed. There we go. There we go. 
so we've got those on the outside of the shutters there and then I'm going to add a chocolate one to the roof this side another twisty lolly to the other side of there and so that leaves me a chocolate and a strawberry for the back door and that's too long for there maybe we put a chocolate one and one there right so again you can add 3d foam pads to yours it's completely up to you i'm just uh going off the hoof whatever happens happens so we want a strawberry one there Go. just hold that and then we're going to have um, do you have strawberry? yeah we'll have strawberry we'll have strawberry, why not we'll have a strawberry one on the back well I say the back it's the side isn't it and then we're going to have the lolly just there oops there we go just hold that in place put my hands inside and then press down i've got something to press to then there we go so we've got little ice cream on that side we've got the ice cream cones on the back and then we're just going to finish off by adding one to the back on this side at the front. So again, I'm going to put a little bit there and a little bit there. And we're just going to line that up with the one that's on the other side. So we're mirroring the, the signage on both sides. I'm just going to hold that until it's gone tacky again. There we go. And then one more ice cream cone. So we'll put some glue around that area and some there. And we're just going to mirror the other side and just hold that till it's gone. sticky fingers there we go I'll wipe my hands again it's be all gluey today right and now we're going to add some ribbon from the craft perfect the tonic studios crafters ribbon bright white three millimeter you might find it on offer it was on offer when i purchased it a couple of weeks ago and then we're going to thread the back there with ribbon through the loops. Come on. Through one. Through the other. There we go. And then tip that up so you can see. I've got the two tied together there and tie those together a little bow trim that off use that and something else and there we have your gorgeous little ice cream truck so, of course, it can make the bakery truck. It can um, do the coffee coffee uh, truck. 
and um, there's your little ice cream uh, truck there. So with your little swirlies and then your little hatch with your little canopy there and you know all falls into place, little shelf and there you go guys so that is your beautiful little sweet treat band there so uh, if this interests you and it's on your shopping list head on over to the Tonic Studios website where you can buy this direct and um, I hope you have as much fun as I've had uh, I've made some for packaging as I say so um, this is another one for me and um, I never tire of, of making things like this. Um, I think this little van has got so many other themes that you can go along with. Um, so I think it's going to give you uh, a lot of enjoyment. And obviously these wheels and things like that can be used on other things as well. And you'll have lots in your stash where we, you could do different themes for this. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please uh, click that notification bell and follow if you can uh, there will be times where I will just upload videos straight to my YouTube channel and I won't necessarily add the links or anything on Facebook um, I think it's nice to do both but sometimes it is nice to give Facebook something and sometimes it's nice to give YouTube something so I don't want you to miss anything and um, don't forget to check out all the other girls on the DT because they'll be bringing you great content this week, as will HQ. And that all remains for me to say is, again, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, I'll see you all very soon. Happy crafting.